Normally, the ratio comes in the form of fractions, proportion, percentage, and number of times. Whatever financial statements you have, this ratio analysis will simplify that. Everybody will not accept, universally accepted standard level will not be followed by everyone. All the probability ratio will be based on your turnover. Turnover also we call it as sales. Hello everyone, this is your other sir, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So, we are in the session 4 of your topic called In Accounting, we are doing Ratio Analysis. Now, so we are in the second topic of your Financial Management. In Financial Management, we have two parts. One will be your theory base of Financial Management and ratio analysis. Now, we are in the part two of your unit two that is called ratio analysis. So don't be in bias or confusion which topic we are doing. Now, we are still in unit two. As I told you, in the unit two, you have two bifurcation or two uh, part. One part will be your financial management theory and second part will be ratio analysis. If you if we complete ratio analysis, your second chapter will be ended. Now, the agenda for the day is very simple. The meaning, advantages, limitations, as well as types of ratio. So, in this we will understand what is ratio analysis and the advantages as well as limitations as well as the finally the types of ratio analysis. Now, so what is the benefit of ratio analysis? Now, I'll give you simple example like what is your marks in your examination? Like you can say that I got 480 out of 600. So what is your marks? 480 out of 600. Now, so if somebody asks the same question, you can also answer like, I got around 80%. How much you got? 80%. You can say it as 480 or you can say it as 80%. Which is better? Now, which make others to understand? better. If you say 80%, they say wow it is 80%. If you say 480, they will not understand how much percentage. Now, your numbers which are converted into what? Percentage. Now, I'll give you one more example for the ratio analysis. Like, your sale, your profit is 10,000 and your profit is 15,000. This profit on 2020 and this profit on 2021. On 2020, 10,000 and 2021, your profit is 15,000. Are you happy or what? Yes, we are happy. Why? Because last year it was only 10,000. But this year, the profit is 15,000 increased. But you have not clearly said in this, this 15,000 profit out of the sale of 3 lakh. This 10,000 profit for the sale of 1 lakh. Now you tell me you are happy or not. See, last year you sold, your investment you made less and you sold 1 lakh worth goods. Out of 1 lakh, you got 10,000 profit. What was your sales? Out of 1 lakh, your profit was 10,000. Now, but this year what happened? This year, you made a sale of 3 lakh. You made a sale of 3 lakh. What is your profit? 15,000. See? For just 1 lakh, you have earned 10,000. But for 3 lakh, so for 1 lakh, 10,000 means 3 lakh, how much you, should be your profit? 30,000. But how much is your profit? 
only 15,000 means if you calculate percentage for 110,000 means your profit is 10%. For 3,15,000 means your profit is 5%. Now you tell me you're happy or not. No. Why? Because in 2020, your profit was 10%. In 2021, your profit is 5%. Now, your profit decreased. 5% decreased. Even though in numbers, you may think you got 5,000 more. No. If you go for percentage, you will get the actual thing. Actual what happened. Actual what happened, your profit decreased by 5%. This is the advantage of your ratio analysis. With the help of ratio analysis, management can understand better. So, how much percentage instead of numbers. Why? Because the numbers you may feel, yeah, it is good. But if you go with the percentage, you will get to know what is the actual thing happened. Now, your meaning of ratio analysis. Before we go to your problem, your formulas and all. So here you are supposed to learn around 12 to 13 formulas. It is not difficult, easy, but we'll go, we'll do small, small problems. Later we'll go for your balance sheet problem. In your syllabus, they have asked balance sheet problems. Now, for your five marks, you can expect even small problems also. Now, a ratio is a mathematical number calculated as a reference to a relationship of two or more numbers. If you want to calculate ratio means in a single number, you cannot calculate ratio. Minimum you require what? Minimum you require two numbers to calculate ratio. Now, be expressed as fractions. Normally the ratio comes in the form of fractions, proportion, percentage and number of times. Sometimes the ratios we consider are determined in the form of percentage, sometimes in the form of times like 1 is to 1 time. See, if you spend 100 rupees, you will get another 100 rupees. So what we call 1 is to 1. So your 100 will become another 100. So these are, we call it as times. Now, last one. It is a tool used for financial statement of the business. Tool means what? It is a mechanism like with the help of ratio analysis, you can understand your financial position clearly. I can give you one more example like, so if you go for, if you go to the doctor, what happens? Doctors, they will give you all the details like your sugar level, your BP, your this thing, all your details they will give you. Now, being a normal person like me, I cannot understand all the medical terms. In the report, in the scanning report, each report will come around one or two pages. Can you understand those reports? The answer is no. And do you have time to analyze and read everything? Everything googling, scanning. So what does it mean? Is it possible? No. You cannot understand whatever 20 to 30 pages report given by the doctor. So what we will do? We will go to the last page or first page. Why? Because the summary will be given. Like, what is the summary? In the summary, they will give you in the short, your sugar level, this much, your BP, blood pressure, this much, or else something this much, your blood point, like your group, how much, Everything will be given in a summary part. So that will you go for this 20 pages or will you go for this? You will go for the summary part. These are all about your ratio analysis. Ratio analysis will give you summary. Even though you are dumb or even though you are not good at accounts also, by looking at your ratio, you will get to know which where your company is standing. The next part we call it as advantages of ratio analysis. Now, the major advantages are 
simplifies financial statement. Whatever financial statements you have, this ratio analysis will simplify that. As I told you, your medical report is around 20 pages and you will get one sheet summary. So in the summary, you will get to know what is your result. RS, I can give you one more example like you have six papers in your examination like paper one, paper two, three, four, five as well as six. Now, so each paper you have written your final examination, your internal, internal exam for 20 marks. So hardly your final examination will come around 30 pages. Your internal book comes around 5 to 6 pages. For this they have given 70 marks. For this they have given around 30 marks. Or for this they have given 60 and 25. Now similarly for everything almost 30 pages of your answer booklet as well as your 5 to 6 page of your assignment book. Now, once you have written your exam paper and your assignment, will you show your all six exam paper, all six assignment to your parents? Will your parents understand what you have written, how much allotted for each mark, out of which how much you have scored? Will your parents will understand? No, they will not understand how many pages you have written, how they are evaluated, everything your parents will not understand. So what will happen? Finally, you will show your mark card. Mark card to your parents. Your parents is more comfortable with your answer sheet or more comfortable with your mark card. Yes, the answer is correct. Your parents will be looking for your mark card. So whatever may be the subject, how much you scored? 80 out of 100. Easily, your parent, even though they are uneducated, if you say 80 out of 100, they will understand, yes, my son and my daughter, they got 80 marks out of 100. If you show them 5 marks, 6 marks, everything ordinary is 80, no one will understand. That's why this is your financial statement. This is your ratio analysis. Unless and until you complete your financial statement, we cannot go for ratio analysis. Once you're done with your financial statement, then your ratio part will start. Now, facilitates inter-form comparison. If you calculate, like, you will not compare your paper with your friend paper. You will compare your marks with your friend marks. See, I got 80 in this subject. My friend got 78 in this subject. I got 85. My friend got 92. So that comparison can be done in this, not in this. Remember that. So comparison can be done if you do the ratio analysis. Now, it is helpful in comparative analysis. I can give you one more example for this. Like your profit is 10,000 this year. And your one more friend, he is also running a business. His profit is 1 lakh. His profit is 1 lakh. So you may think that he is earning 90,000 more than what I am earning. But the fact is your investment is 1 lakh. His investment is 10 lakh. See, whatever he has invested, he is getting. Whatever you are invested, you are getting. Go with the percentage now. For 1,10,000 means your profit is 10% of your investment. Now, for 10 lakh, 1 lakh means he is also getting 10% of his annual. You both are in equal position. Why? Because your profit percentage is also 10 and your friend profit percentage is also 10. If you go with numbers, you feel that he is 90,000 more than my profit. But if you go with percentage, you will come to the actual picture. You are in the same position. Now, so the last point helps in planning. If you have ratio, means see, this time I got 10% profit. Next time you will plan for 
I should go for 12%, I should go for 30%. This kind of planning can be done if you do ratio analysis. So these are the major advantages of ratio analysis. Next part, limitations of ratio analysis. Limitation also we call it as disadvantages of ratio analysis. Now, as per this, reliability linked with accounting data means the limitations means what? Like, as I told you, once you done with your financial accounting, like profit and loss and balance sheet, later you will start your ratio analysis. If this is wrong, your ratio analysis also wrong. I'll give you same example like, so these are your answer script. In the answer script, what happened? Almost 10 questions are there. Each question, four, five, three, two, like that, marks are allotted. If you add everything, it comes around 68. By miss, you have taken how much? 62. Out of 68, you have taken only 62. The same whatever you have written in the 62 in the booklet, same thing will come in the marks card also. Similarly, the major limitations are disadvantages of ratio analysis. Whatever you do in the financial accounting, if you commit any mistake, the same mistake will be copied or carried for your ratio also. That's why there is a major limitation. So you cannot rectify unless it is rectified in the financial accounting. Now, price level changes. If price level changes, your profit portion also will disagree or it will be changed. Not free from bias. Bias means what? Confusion. No, sometimes if it is a 12%, you say 12% is your profit percentage. They will be in bias that 12% means how much, how much it have value. So that kind of bias will be there. Lack of universally accepted standard level. Like whatever I am following, the same procedure may be not following by your friend. Now, then what happens? You cannot compare your statement with your friend statement. Why? Because the same procedure he is not following. If both are following the same procedure, you can match. Like I can give you an example. Like you want to check a mileage check. So what is your vehicle mileage? Like you are running a Royal Enfield. Another person he is running Hero Honda. Hero Honda or some like uh, he is running like a uh, Splendor. So he is running Splendor and you are running your Royal Enfield bike. Now, can you match with your friend? You are running Royal Enfield and he is running which vehicle? He rode a Splendor. Now, his vehicle will give around 70 to 80 mileage. Your vehicle will give you around 30 to 35 mileage. Can you compare your bike with your Hero Honda? No. RS, same thing. You are also having Splendor. That fellow also having Splendor. His vehicle giving 70. Your vehicle is giving 66. This you can compare. You can see why my vehicle is giving 4 km less. Maybe my riding, is there any mistakes are there? Or the engine is not good or wherever you have filled your fuel, he has not filled properly. Those kind of reasons you can find in case you are comparing the same bikes. But you are running Royal Enfield, he is running Hero Honda Splendor. Can you compare and can you find the reasons? No, you cannot compare. Why? Because both are different. The major limitations are disadvantage of your ratio analysis means Everybody will not accept, universally accepted standard level will not be followed by everyone. There is a major disadvantage of your ratio analysis. Now, types of ratio analysis. We spend much time while doing individual type. Here just I'll explain you what is liquidity, what is solvency, what is efficiency, 
and what is profitability ratio now so these are the ratios we have these are not four ratios under each thing we get two or three ratios now these are the the basis of ratio now what is liquidity ratio like for short term financial position of business anything which is for short term we go for liquidity ratio then solvency ratio for long term financial position if you want to go for short term go for liquidity ratio if you want to go for long term please go for your solvency ratio then efficiency ratio studying the activities and efficiency of the business whether your business is efficient how to check you have to go for your efficiency ratio the last part is profitability ratio for the measuring the profitability of the business we go for profitability so i'll give you example so my company earns 10% his company earns 10% of profit that is called your profitability all the profitability ratio will be based on your turnover turnover also we call it as sales the last part the just one ratio i'll explain you see these are called as liquidity ratio as i told you under liquidity you will get two things which are those current ratio quick ratio now you have to know what is current asset you should know what is current liability before we go to the problem you should be aware of what do you mean by current asset and what do you mean by current liability so that in the question paper they will not give you what is current asset we should only find out it is not difficult easy but you have to remember which are current asset and which are current liability now quick ratio the same formula but we have a small changes in the quick asset rs we can call it as asset asset now we will not consider the stock the stock we will not consider whatever closing stock we call we don't consider in this now current liability whatever we have taken same current liability will consider for this also hope you understood this is all about your liquidity ratio but we will go in detail what is this what is this everything what is quick asset everything we will discuss in the next session so i'll go back to all these slides so that you can take a screenshot so this is our agenda for this session your meaning of the ratio advantages limitations types liquidity ratio so this is all about your today's session we done with your basic part of ratio from the next session we will not discuss about theory part directly we will go for problems thank you